Hello and welcome. I want you to take a look at these adorable little zucchini cakes. Now, you may think, I have had every zucchini recipe possible. What can be different about this one? Let me just tell you, this is the best zucchini, sweet zucchini recipe I have ever used. You have got to try this one. It is amazing. I'm also going to show you how to make this delicious caramel icing, and it just takes this over the top. In addition, I'm going to show you a beautiful charcuterie board, a couple of them that I've put together. I had some girlfriends over and I just had a ball preparing some delicious snacks and this wonderful dessert. This gets rave reviews every time I make it. So you want to stay tuned to the end. I'm going to show you clips of our little evening here and uh, you can hopefully get some good inspiration by watching this video. This is also Fall Food Friday and I'm so happy to be taking part in this collaboration hosted by Moss Family TV. If you have not visited their channel, go on over and visit. You are missing out. They are a great channel. We really enjoy them. So stay tuned. This is going to be a good one. If you haven't been here before, I hope you feel welcome and I hope you leave inspired. All right, for this delicious zucchini cake, I have just shredded up a zucchini from our garden, and I shredded it in this bowl, so I'm gonna add this two cups back into the bowl. The great thing about this recipe, it's kind of like a banana bread or zucchini bread, any type of bread recipe, kind of all of it can go in together. I'm just gonna toss it all in the bowl. So the zucchini is gonna go in first, two cups, and let me add in the other ingredients. Look how beautiful this is. Such a pretty green. I love the dark green from the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the other ingredients. One cup of vegetable oil. I'm using canola. Two cups of granulated sugar. Two large eggs, one half cup of buttermilk, two tablespoons vanilla extract, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. And I'm going to mix this together before I add in my flour. Since we're doing fall, I'm going to use my pretty fall colored spatula here. Let's just get this stirred together. And this smells like fall right here. The smell of the sugar and the cinnamon smells amazing. Okay, next we're going to add in our flour and that is two cups. The original recipe calls for all-purpose flour, of course your baking powder, soda, and salt. But I am using self-rising, and I always make this cake with self-rising flour. All right, we're going to gently fold that in. And that was our two cups. All right, and I'm gonna stop at this point here and add in one cup of walnuts. And there we have it, one cup of walnuts going in. Now, as these mix in, it will continue to get everything else incorporated as well. I found this recipe, I think it was two years ago. Um, I was just looking for additional ways to use zucchini and I came across this one and thought we would give it a try 
and it is delicious and I make it the same way every time. I actually made this and uh, took it into someone's home. Um, they had a loved one who was in his final stages of life and so I cooked a meal. This was the dessert and they sent messages back and said it was the best cake they ever had. Now, the original recipe calls for a cream cheese frosting. I make a caramel frosting for this and it is absolutely amazing. All right, this is ready to go. And while I typically use a nine by 13, I decided to use this super fun baking pan. It's like little mini bunts, sort of. I'm not really sure what to call this, but it is the cutest thing ever. So I thought we are gonna give this a try in this kind of pan. All right, I've got these filled up here. I'm about to the halfway point. I'm gonna stick these in the oven. I'm gonna start watching them about 20 minutes um, and just kind of see test with the doneness there and see where we are and then um, I'll let you know exactly how long it takes to bake these. Okay, I'm just taking these out. I did a toothpick test at 22, actually 20, 20 minutes and it came out dry, but I just thought I would give it two more minutes. So this baked for 22 minutes. These look so, so cute and they smell like, oh my goodness, my house smells amazing. Oh, you really have to give this recipe a try. And if you have some sort of cute little pan like this, it's just a bonus. So I'm gonna take one of these out and um, just test how they're coming out. I'm gonna do them one at a time. Okay, let's give it a look. I'm just gonna use the spoon. I can see they've pulled away. Okay, I think they're gonna lift out just fine. I think I'm gonna let them cool just a little bit. Yeah, they're gonna lift out okay. But I'm gonna let them cool for just a minute, maybe five or so minutes. And then we will get these out. Wow. <laughs> so cute. What a fun way to amp up zucchini cake, right? Okay, hey, we'll get these out here in just a few minutes after they cool. All right, let's see if we can lift these out of here. Oh my goodness. Look how cute that is. Wow, yeah, I think it's perfect. All right, I'm gonna just lay these off on a platter. There's the next one. Perfect. So you would definitely wanna make sure you didn't underbake them. These probably could have gone a little bit longer, but I think they're gonna be just fine. They're gonna be iced, but you definitely would want to be sure they were baked through. These look so moist, but they are done. Last one. And these are actually heavy. I mean, this is a heavy little piece here. That's probably the equivalent to one slice of cake. And then, like I said, I'm gonna frost it with caramel, homemade caramel icing. Okay, I'm gonna get my next round in here. Okay, looks like I'm gonna get about five more. So I'd say next time around, I might just reduce the amount just a little bit to where I could get 12 instead of 11. But that's really not a big deal at all. All right, there we have it. We have five more going in the oven for 22 minutes. All right, guys, I forgot to bring you along. Oh my goodness, I'm making the homemade caramel frosting, icing, whatever you wanna call it in a saucepan for one minute you melt and stir together 
three tablespoons of milk, two tablespoons of butter, and one half cup of packed brown sugar. So it comes to a boil here real quickly and you just stir it really, really well till it's a vigorous boil. And then you're gonna add in a few other ingredients. So this is starting to boil. Okay, it's starting to pick up. Okay, I would consider that a pretty vigorous boil. Now that needs to happen for one minute. Alright, now we stir in one half cup of confectioner's sugar. Alright, now we're going to wait about five minutes or so and we're going to stir in another half cup of confectioner's sugar and vanilla and then our frosting will be done. If it's too thin, we can add a little bit more confectioner's sugar. If it's too thick, we can add a little bit more milk. Alright, let's add in our second half cup. Perfect. Before we get this all stirred in, we're going to add in our vanilla. This is pure vanilla. We got this on our cruise, uh, the last cruise that we went on in Cozumel. All right, this is definitely thickening up. I'll show you when it's all stirred together. How beautiful this is. It's gotten so thick. It will thicken up more as it sits. This is about what I want. It's very thick. Yeah, I think this is looking good. Aren't these just adorable? I was super happy with how these turned out. The frosting in the little Ziploc bag turned out great. It just had a great little drizzle here on the top that looked pretty. And another thing I was thinking you could add a little, um, maybe a candy pumpkin to the top there, or maybe a little green bit of icing to look like a little stem and they would almost look like a little pumpkin. So that could have been a fun touch as well. But overall, I just thought these looked like something you bought from a bakery. And here's a look at the rest of the snacks that we had for this evening. I just thought the colors were so, so beautiful. I just put down this mustard color runner on my countertop and then I just added these delicious snacks on top. This charcuterie board was delicious. I love putting those together, sometimes just for me and my husband, but I also really love putting them together for parties or get together. So just a perfect assortment of fruits, cheeses, meats, crunchy snacks. We had some almonds on the other one there that I'll show you here in a second. Oh, it was just really, really good. I had these little tasty breadsticks that I found at Aldi. 
everything was just the perfect assortment to snack on while I was enjoying spending time with some of my best girlfriends. This here is a flatbread that I've just put some onion and chive cream cheese on and some fresh garden tomatoes with some fresh basil. I made a cucumber dip and served along with these veggies and then just some regular little snacks that you put out, pickles and um, some of the pretzel crackers, just delicious, all of it was. We had a great time. It's very easy to put something like this together, an assortment of things, that way there's a variety for people to choose from. And I'm not kidding when I say these little zucchini cakes were the star of the show. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've not been here before, I would love if you would consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. Go check out all the other videos that are going to be on the playlist throughout this month of September for Fall Food Fridays. You'll get some great inspiration, I'm sure. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.